Hey everybody, what's going on? We are here with some Summoner's War. We are, uh, we're just, we're just going back home. <laughs> All right, I, I, I've been, uh, I, I jumped back in and you've heard me talk about Summoner's War. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you have heard me bring this game up. I have said many, many times and I stand by it. This is the best of these games as far as quality and balance and all of the things we look for are concerned. It is not going to be your favorite graphically, more than likely, if you came from something like Raid or Eternal Evolution. Uh, I, I like the graphics. They, they grew on me over time. Uh, but I understand if coming from Raid graphically, it's, it's, you know, it's not as sharp. But I do like the art style. I think it's pretty dope. Character designs are cool. Um, so we're going to play some, we're going to play Summoner's for, war, war for a while. I can't get in my old account. I probably could if I really, really wanted to. I'd have to, I'd have to charge my old phone up and, and do a few things. And maybe at some point I will, because it's kind of a shame that account's gone. Uh, you know, it, it's got a lot of time in it. Uh, I caught a Street Fighter collab that they did a couple of years ago, a few years ago. So I had some cool units that I'll never have another opportunity to get. Um, so it's kind of a shame, but also it's been kind of nice to start a new account and go through the new new player experience, see what all they got going on. It's actually a great time to start if you're interested because they're doing an Assassin's Creed collaboration right now. And it's amazing. It's really, really dope. And you get pretty easily, you get a free light dark Nat 5. Uh, so I'm, when I say Nat 5, I mean legendary if you're coming from Raid. Uh, that's the best way I can explain that to you. Uh, so you get a free one. He's pretty cool. The new player experience is, again, very solid. It showers you with resources. It gives you uh, champions that you need to do things with and progress. I didn't even feel like I needed to summon for the first several days that I played. Uh, and then I finally did like a, a pretty big summon session. I've already pulled a couple of net fives, so we're already off to a better start than my old account was. My old account, I think I... It took me 11 months to pull my first one, and I've already gotten two here. I've spent a little bit of money. I'm not doing free to play. I usually do that to test the game, to see what's possible, and to kind of show people what's possible. It is so well established that this game is free to play friendly at this point. It is just so unnecessary. You you will see if you decide to play it. It is um, it is wildly free to play. So. I just thought we would we would mess around a little bit today. If you decide that you want to check this game out. And I highly recommend that you do. If you've never played it, I think it's a good idea to play it because you'll. This is where this is why we have all the other games that we have. Summoner's War kind of laid the blueprint for every other one of these games that we play: Raid, Infinite Magic, Raid, Awakened Chaos Era, Dragon Champions. Uh, a lot of these games came from the blueprint that Summoner's War laid, and for a long time, de developers were trying to just exactly copy what Summoner's War was doing. And that's why it took a while for another game to come up. And one of the things that I liked about Raid early on is that they followed the blueprint, but they did enough to make themselves stand out and be a different game. Uh, and, and then developers kind of started to figure out that was a good route. But the core blueprint that these games tend to follow was laid by Summoner's War. It is so good. It's been around for a long time. <laughs> and they've had a long time to figure it out. And You'll, you'll see, if you've watched me play Raid or you've watched me play these other games and you've seen me be critical about certain things and maybe you don't understand why, why it seems like I'm overly critical. For example, I give I give Plarium a hard time about the lack of creativity in their events. Because there's a handful of events that we, that we do that are just boring and uninspired and it's artifact enhancement. And it's literally just you level up artifacts and you collect a reward. And there's really, they've never really tried to do anything to make it more interesting. But then the path events, which are again, just as lazy, a little bit of a different UI. But if we go in here, for example, and look at look at this Assassin's Creed event, there's several different Assassin's Creed tabs right now. But Codices is, is, there's a, I'll show you when we get out of here. There's, there's, a, there's a building on the island right now because of the collab that generates a mission. I think it's every six hours. And if you complete the mission, you get Codices. Usually they're worth three. And then you collect these rewards that'll, that will reset every day for them. And then down here, again, same thing. For however many you collect, you, you collect these rewards and they don't reset. And then down here, you've got 
extra bonuses for how many you collect. You get a new building for your island. You get a costume for Elia, who is, uh, she's kind of, I don't really know exactly what she does. She walks around the island. You can click on her and do certain things. You can get advice about the game, I think, and you can, she's got different costumes. It's just kind of a thing, right? It's not, not a crucial part of the game. Then down here, you, you have available codices and how many you've spent. And then there's like a shop down here and you can spend them on these different packs of items. So here's an Assassin's Creed scroll, 200 gems, 100 energy, 300,000 mana. Uh, so I bought that. These are like legendary tomes, basically. So there's a couple of these, some scrolls, same thing. These are light dark scrolls, AKA void shards, kind of the equivalent if you're coming from raid, uh, right? So there's all these different packs down here you can spend the codices on. Drastically, drastically net positive. It's not costing me anything but a little bit of energy sometimes to do these missions. And sometimes it doesn't even cost me energy. Sometimes it's it's a very simple mission, like, you know, check the shop for this item. Check, it, it, it just kind of gets you familiar with the game sometimes too. So uh, it costs you a little bit of energy to do these and you come out with so much more than it costs you, right? So there's there's structure and, and levels of creativity to it and it's interesting and they make you do different things and go to different parts of the game and it never costs you more than you're getting right so that's that's why i'm always so critical about raid because everything raid does cost you something and here it's rarely like that they will occasionally have something that's a challenge that is, is meant to be difficult but i don't think i've seen anything that you can't complete free to play in a long, long time. I don't think I've seen that from, from Summoner's War. So uh, the events are really interesting always and always very, very, very net positive. Um, there's a ton of content. I'm still trying to catch up. Here's your storyline, your, your campaign, and there's three difficulties. So the three stars means I've completed everything on the hardest difficulty now. You've got TOA which is uh, your Doom Tower equivalent, I guess. Um, but I'm going to be real with you. It's, it's done a lot better here <laughs> than, than Doom Tower. Here you've got all your dungeons, your gear dungeons. So you've got Giant Dragon, Necro, and then Steel Fortress and Punisher's Crypt are relatively new. I'm not super, relatively new to me. They've been around for a while now, but not since I've played actively. And uh, here's where you farm uh, different... Yeah, the, these artifacts and conversion stones. It's a system that I don't know a ton about yet, so I've got I've got to learn that, but there, there's a dungeons. Secret dungeons is where you can farm champs. I, I found one early. This is actually a very valuable secret dungeon. This is kind of like hitting the lottery. Um, so I've, I've gotten my champ from here, but this is where you can farm frags for a particular champ that you find a secret dungeon for. And the way you find a secret dungeon is you farm one of the attribute dungeons that are usually on a cycle, but for your first 30 days, I think they're all gonna be open. You farm it, you'll unlock a secret dungeon. I think you can have one open at a time. And then you farm it for frags for that champion. And then when you get enough frags, you can summon the champion. Alternatively, other people can get them and it'll announce in chat and you can request to enter someone else's secret dungeon or someone in your guild or on your friend list. Um, and, and there's certain champs that are very, very helpful in the game. Um, some of them are very necessary and this is how you'll get them. And they've made it a lot easier to access these through other players and stuff so like i when i got this i shared it in the chat and people would request to join and i would i would let them into the farm okay and then here is your tribute stuff this is how you awaken best it's it's ascension potions and raid basically uh, rift i haven't done rift yet but it's a it's a different type of content it's it's big boss content i think you play it with other people i think it puts other people in with two other people I know Rift does. I don't remember. If th these might be solo. I think I think all of these are solo, but I think Rift is multiplayer. And it puts you in with three other or, or two other players. And you all have your full team and you're fighting this big boss that has all these mechanics and stuff. And then here, it, these are solo and you have to, you know, you build different teams based on the affinity and mechanics. And you get things to upgrade your artifacts, if I'm not mistaken. Or runes, rather. Tartarus's Labyrinth. I am only semi-familiar with. I, again, this was this was something that came around kind of after I stopped playing. I think it's new guild content though. You 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 work together to work your way through this. I, I don't know much about it yet, to be honest. We, we, we have a bit to learn there. There are guild wars. We need to fill up the guild because I don't even have enough to register for guild wars yet. I've, I've, I've only like 
told a couple of specific people. So if you want to play and you decide you, you want to join uh, the guild, where's our guild? Right there. We're, we're sticking with it. <laughs> we're sticking with the name that works. Uh, if you decide that you want to play, shoot me an application here. You can send me a friend request as well. It's uh, it's the real J gigs because of course J gigs is taken. Um, so so she, and and you love that picture. You love it. So shoot me a friend request. Shoot me a, a a request to join the guild. We'll get you in. And when we get enough people, we'll start doing guild wars. Guild wars. It'll it'll open up a map. And, and basically, everybody has their own tower, and you can pick which people you want to fight. And it's three v three, and it's 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 really fun, honestly. It's it's totally different strats than arena, which is four versus four. Uh, you have to build totally different comps for it. The there's more to the structure than that, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then there's probably again more content that I don't really even know about. There's arena, and then there's of course uh, live arena and they've got within the arena they've got ai opponents so all of these are, are i haven't fought them yet today and then amir is a newer one this is for the assassin's creed collab amir never goes on cooldown and i think he gets a little bit stronger he either levels with me or he gets a little bit stronger every time i fight him but he's got a different team so it seems like it's a good way for new players to come in here and practice to get practice against different teams. I don't know how strong he will ultimately get. I assume he will continue to level up. Um, I, I'm guessing he levels up with me, but he, even so, he has a different team every time I fight him. So that's been kind of interesting to see other, see champs in action that I'm not familiar with. There's a lot of new champs that I'm not familiar with. Um, but I mean, there's there's a lot there's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about in the game, so I'll probably have to break it down into a few different videos. Maybe we'll do kind of a, a beginner's guide to the best of my ability. Again, there might be some stuff I don't know that new players need to focus on, but but I've been I've, I've been pretty actively involved trying to absorb everything I can and figure out what's going on and, and what are the best things to do. And it's ultimately still roughly seems the, the same for the new player, except they've kind of laid it out in a in a much smoother way. It used to be a little bit tougher. It used to be really tough to get started. And then over the years, they have, you know, adju made adjustments to make it pretty easy to work your way up into, you know, transitioning into the mid game. So beyond that, there are a lot of island. Can I? Yeah, there are. You can buy. I think there's a few more islands I can buy that expand and then you can move everything around on your island. So you, you have full customization in the way that everything's set up. So you can go for something that you think is aesthetically pleasing. You can go for something that's efficient in the way of like collecting all of your mana stones and gems and all of the things that are generating resources for you. Uh, there's a lot of different ways people like to do that, but it's something fun to play around with. There's tons of quality of life. I mean, quality of life deserves its own video, honestly. Here, here's your monster storage. It always costs 200,000 mana or 50 gems to expand by 10 slots. It does not stair step up and get more expensive. That is always the cost of it until you've completely maxed it out. And I think it goes up to like seven or 800. That's what it went to when I was playing. Beyond your storage, you have a material monster storage that as far as I understand has no maximum capacity. So all of these, material monsters don't have to take up space in your inventory you can have them go in here and when you collect them from your inbox there's actually an auto store material monsters and it'll just send them straight to uh, your your storage beyond that there's this new one that i that i did not know about called uh, sealed summoned monster sealed shrine and you can put monsters in here that are basically the way you summon them if they if they are untouched base versions of themselves so no levels no ascension and uh and i think if you have someone locked it won't put them in here but this can be where you put again all of them all of the monsters that you want to hang on to for potential skill ups or food or whatever you can put them in here and also not have your storage full so there's there's a lot of quality of life storage options um, and then also when you're doing power up, you can access it 
you can access it all from here as well. So, I mean, they, 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 there's a lot of quality of life in this game. They've got a, the, the multi-battle system. You can farm anything on multi. And let's let's just do a, an XP run real quick. Let's just throw some champs in. So here it'll start, it'll go. It does it in increments of 10. If someone hits max level, it'll stop and you can make adjustments. Uh, or if you fail, it'll stop. Beyond that, you can minimize it while it's doing what it's doing and still do whatever else you want to do. I know that you can do arena while multi-battle is running. I'm not sure about all the rest of the content. I think you can do Arena. I think you can do Guild Wars. For some reason, there's something in my head that tells me I can do Rift. While Multi is running, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But um, anyway, yeah, that, that's, that'll be going in the background and I can do whatever else I want to do, whether it's clean out my room storage or rearrange my island or whatever it is I want to do. That, that'll be running in the background. And when it's done, it'll let me know. I can make whatever adjustments I want to need. Uh, I want to make, I can sell things as they drop or I can wait until the end and do the whole batch at a time. This works the same way in the gear dungeons and everywhere else. It is um, very, very nice, very handy. So again, there's a lot more to talk about. There's a lot more to talk about. So the, the best advice I can give or to you if you want to check this out. Again, there's a link below if you want to support the channel a little bit, download it on Bluestacks. If you don't, download it without my link. Uh, but I do think everyone should check this game out just to see where all these other games are, are drawing their inspiration from because this is the blueprint and I do believe this is the bar. This is still the bar that I measure all these games against. Um, it, again, also a great time to start. This is the Assassin's Creed building I said I would show you, by the way, that's just generating missions. I don't know exactly what the time is here, but it's generating missions every incrementally. And then you go in and do them and you get the codices and you use the codices in the event. And then you get them a few other ways as well. There's also an Assassin's Creed dungeon open right now. Kind of difficult, but anyway. Um, the best advice I can get for you if you decide to start the game is it's gonna go, it's gonna take you through a little bit of a tutorial and then this quest tab will, will kind of guide you where it wants you to go and it, it's been pretty solid so far and sending me in the right direction and then summoner's way really focus on these it's gonna you're gonna start on the novice missions so work your way through the novice missions you see there's a ton of stuff in here just for playing the game it's it's, it's gonna be like go beat this dungeon go do this in arena it's, it's all very easy the novice missions are very easy to get through and then start working your way through intermediate and then down here focus on these as well there's these challenge missions for each dungeon and i think there was one for the campaign as well but i'm finished with that one and then also new user support it's going to give you stuff as you log in and then there was another tab that i get that i think is gone now because i finished it but it's got four different events in it focus on those so so really keep your nose in the summoner's way book because it's, it's going to send you in the right direction. It's going to give you your Water Magic Knight that's really good for progression and farming Faemon. It's going to give you champs that are handy. It's going to give you a lot of scrolls and resources and things that you need to continue to progress smoothly. So really, really let this guide you. And then the quest tab will occasionally pop up something that it wants you to do and go do that as well. Right, that's, that's, that's the best, like, real quick beginner's advice I could give you. As long as you do that, you're going to develop a pretty good understanding about what you're doing and what you should be doing. And... Um, your progression will be pretty smooth all right so we will do more content on this probably moving forward i'll, I'll work on a little bit more of an in-depth in beginner's guide perhaps and maybe when we get the guild filled up we can start doing some guild war content and uh you know i'm just gonna play this one for a while i'm playing some other games too i'll probably do some other video uh videos on some of the other games that i'm checking out i'm checking out that street fighters duel street fighter duel game which is surprisingly good so i might do a video on that one soon showing that off to you guys I don't know. I don't know exactly where we're going to settle, but I know that I'm going to be playing Summoner's War, whether I'm making content on it or not. So if, again, if you want to if you want to join the guild, if you decide you want to check the game out and join the guild, shoot me an app. And uh, that's that. I'm going to get out of here now. Appreciate you guys watching. Is there any other games that you think I should take a look at? I'm open to, uh, to doing some more first impressions videos like I was doing, so look, be sure and drop some suggestions below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.